Welcome to Cooking with James. Let's get cooking. Welcome back to Cooking with James. I'm your host, James. And um, before we get into what we're doing today, I just want to say thanks to everybody um, who subscribed to the channel. You know, already two weeks in, over 40 subscribers, a few hundred uh, you know, comments, views, all that good stuff. So thanks to you guys. Also, I want to say thanks to my sister, Melissa. She wanted me to do ribs, which is what we're doing today. You what? So this is for you, little sis. And I already have a huge critic. Um, somebody by the name of Nanny, I see out there Nanny, but she wants me to do um, everything with fresh ingredients. So actually next week we have something great. It's going to be all fresh, unhealthy, so uh, something to look forward to next week. Alright, so today we're doing baby back ribs. <clears throat> uh, we're doing two racks, I got one already made. Um, it's, I'm going to do the same thing on both of them. So the first thing that you're going to want to do with these ribs is on the back here, is uh, you got a membrane. All you're gonna wanna do with this membrane, is you dig in there, and start peeling it, and if you're lucky, you can get the whole thing in one piece. Ooh, we're close. In, we're close. And the finish line. All right, cool. All right, so, uh, what do we tell here? So, uh, you, you always wanna take that off, you know, of course, rinse the ribs first, you know, dry them off. So, um, what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into seasoning. All right, and uh, so what we're gonna do for seasoning, um, I got an old garlic salt shaker, it was empty. And um, anyway, I threw a bunch of herbs, spices, all kind of stuff in here. It's been sitting for probably about a week. Um, anyway, that's what we're gonna season it with, and that's uh, the first time I've, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use this, so let's get the seasoning. Now on this, um, you do wanna use, I actually oiled the other side, you do wanna just put a little light coat of uh, olive oil. Um, some people like to use mustard, whatever, so I got some olive oil. And just get that thing coated, and that's just going to make everything stick. Alright guys, we're back. So, uh, just a quick shot. Um, this is the one that I pre-did. I did it the exact same way as the one this is we did here. And as you can see, they turned out identical. Ah. Uh. And uh, what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna let this sit for about 15 minutes. I just started the coals, but that's gonna take about 15 minutes. We're gonna run outside, throw them on the pit. That's pretty much how easy it is to, to prep these things. So we'll see you in a minute. All right guys, we're back. And um, we have been sitting, it's about 20 minutes. The coals took a little longer than I expected because I did a, a full chimney plus a little more on top. So anyway, that's that. Cold it, uh, we got the temperature running at 228 right now. I might raise a little bit more, but we want 225, 230 is somewhere where we want to be. 228, we're perfect. We got the nice, beautiful smoke coming out here of the stack. It's not, you don't want that really thick white barreling smoke. Um, it could be a little cleaner, which it will actually clean up, but uh, we're actually ready to put these uh, right on the pit and, and get to going. So uh, let's go ahead and pull this up. Got the smoke coming out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and place these. Right on the grill here. I got my thermometer, my my uh, probe here. It's gonna be in between, so it just kind of gives me a more accurate reading. All right, cool. So, uh, so that's that. I mean, the meat is on. Um, we were right at temperature, 228 degrees. Um, so you just want to make sure out of all this that you want to keep your temperature. 225, you know, 235, somewhere between there. Um, you're gonna have some spikes, maybe some lows, but that's the most important part of this whole process. And what we're using, uh, if we look here in the firebox, what we got might be a little smoky, but uh, yeah. Whew. So we got some hickory, some pecan, and I'm gonna close this back up. Let me show you real quick before we go. Um, I really love this stuff. It's El Diablo. It's a natural mesquite. They actually made it into a charcoal. It burns really hot, but it keeps temperature 
perfect. It gives a great uh, mesquite type of flavor. So it's not an actual mesquite wood. It's a mesquite wood that was turned into a, a charcoal. And it comes in big logs and chunks. So that's really good. Um, also, we've got the, uh, the pecan and the mesquite. There's just big chunks of wood that we threw in there. So that's what we're using today to smell flip for flavor. And um, yeah, we're all good. We got that dropped. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drop this top and we'll check it in probably, um, I'm gonna say about two hours, but we'll let you know exactly how long it was. So we'll be back. All right, I just wanted to chime in everybody real quick. Um, so it's been an hour. We're not gonna take a look quite yet, but our temperature is still, we're running at uh, 229. And as you can see up here at the smokestack, we've got a very light smoke going. It was kind of windy, but it's very light and see-through, it's blue. That's the smoke that you want. So what you want to do, if you can, um, I have some other wood burning, um, cause that would last for about an hour. So if you have something else that you can use where you can light a little fire and get the wood kind of burning, you know, for a while before you put it on, um, is gonna help because once you put a brand new piece of wood on, it's gonna give you that real thick white cloud. It's gonna cause a lot of, uh, uh, look, it's called creosine. It gives a different kind of flavor um, and you don't want to eat too much of that. So anyway, it's a little tip. Um, just get your wood burning and um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on to the uh, into the fire pit and we'll be good. So just a little quick tip on how to keep your smoke a little cleaner. We'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm pretty excited. So uh, we've been running real good. Well, actually it's been, a, it's been an hour and a half. So uh, we're running still really good. Um, just a little bit higher than I'd like, you know, 232, we're still good there. Um, but that's gonna, you know, continue to go down uh, with the new wood and stuff we put in. It's gonna simmer down. So we're gonna actually go ahead and take a peek after about an hour and a half. So, let's see. The smoke. Man, zoom in on that, brother. That is looking. Yeah, those are looking good. Yeah, that's an hour and a half in. And what uh, what we want to really do is um, we want to, after this, probably check about every hour or so just because I'm going to hit it with some uh, apple cider vinegar. And the main purpose for that is, I don't know if you can really see on the top here or not, but it's starting to look a little dry on the top. Let me zoom in on that a little bit, whatever. But it, it's looking a little dry. so. This apple cider vinegar, um, it's gonna give it uh, just moisture. Um, you know, I also got my water pan down there, but this is gonna go ahead and, and help you out with that. So, got my apple cider vinegar. We're just gonna just go ahead and get it a good, good squirt on both of them. And what I'm also going to do is because we're smoking with an offset smoker, the firebox is over here, I'm actually, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna switch these up. All right, so I'm actually gonna take this rack and set them on this side. And take this rack and set them on this side. So just, just so one side doesn't get uh, you know, too much heat because you know a lot of the heat's coming out of the box. So. Uh, yeah, actually hit that a little bit more, a couple spots. Apple cider vinegar is very awesome. So, yeah, we got that. Um, fire's looking really good. Check the fire real quick. Yep, we got flames, good clean burn, nice great smoke. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and drop the top on this. We'll see you probably in about an hour. Yeah, we'll be back. All right guys, so we are three hours now into our cook. Um, temperature we're at 229 so we've been maintaining pretty much about 225 uh, to 235 I had to recoil once just to make sure I you know have enough coals to last throughout um, so we did reach an extreme spike of about 240 degrees so I had to just lift it up a little bit let some air out and uh, anyway we're gonna go ahead and open this thing up and see what it looks like. You know, we got really light smoke coming out here. I mean, you can barely see it. And at this point, it really don't matter because once the meat reaches about 140 degrees or so, um, it's not gonna 
uh, take any more flavor uh, from the smoke. So we're pretty much done with that, but let's go ahead and open it up and, and see here. And the main reason why we're opening it up is because uh, once again, we're gonna hit it with this apple cider vinegar. So let's go ahead and get this thing spritzed up. And to be honest, this one that is by the firebox looks kind of good. Let's take a look at this thing real quick, actually. Okay, yeah, you can tell that you're not you're not done, and the reason why is because when you pick the meat up, it doesn't bend. You need a big bend in the meat. So we probably still got about two hours left or so on this cook. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I like to. I like to rotate the meat just so they kind of get an even an even heat. I mean, I know it's a little cooler on this side, not much, but let's go ahead and oop, get this over here to this side. Let's have to see how this one's doing. And yeah, not not much bend. Just a, oh, let me get this, just a little bit of bend. So yeah, these things still got probably a couple of hours to go. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually face this. Oh yeah, we're good right there. Get my probe in. All right, cool. So, let me get those right back where they were. And this one, it, the reason for this apple cider is, like I said before, it's just to keep it moist. You know, the skin we do. So, hit, hit this one. Again, with the apple cider vinegar, you know, just get it all over there. You're not gonna do any damage. You're just going to keep that skin nice and moist. All right, we got that thing up. All right, cool. So yeah, we're good here. So it's been, it's three hours in. Uh, we will check probably in about another hour or so and uh, kind of let you see, probably hit it with some more apple cider vinegar. And uh, yeah, we probably got about a couple hours left. So we'll see you soon. All right, guys, we are five hours in. We're about to open it up and see where we're at. Um, I did bump the temp a little bit. Um, right now we're at 244. We're running probably right around 240. Um, I had to re-pull a little bit. Uh, this is taking uh, a little bit longer than we wanted, but you can't rush it. You have to let it sit. And you have to kind of, you have to test that you don't want to take it off too early. Um, those are looking amazing. And, well, they're bending good. So um, we're gonna give it a bend test and kind of see where we're at. Oh, I see they're pulling apart in the bottom. Let's see. Oh, come on now. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna give it this bend test. Yeah, those aren't done. We need at least another hour on those because when you do this, you want this to be basically vertical. So we got some time to go on this. This is taking a long time, folks, but the longer you wait, the better it will be because you don't want to take these off now. Yeah, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put them right back on. I'm gonna spritz them up with a little bit of apple cider vinegar. We're good there. We'll drop the top and uh, we'll be back shortly. All right guys, we're back. We are actually about almost six hours in the smoke and I know we've got to be done. Yeah, we're done. These things are just bending. Oh, a little break, but that's actually not bad. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go inside, we're gonna cut these up and we're gonna show you kind of the smoke ring and then how they actually turned out uh, taste-wise and everything. So uh, we'll be back in just a minute. All right, guys, we're finally done. Um, this actually was a six hour smoke. We were looking for four to five hours. When I pulled it off the grill, this right here um, did break and it was because I gave uh, a little too much pressure when I was bending it. So that did break a little bit, which you don't really want, but they did turn out good. So what we want to do is we're gonna go ahead and cut these up and uh, we're just gonna you know, see what happens. So we're gonna start with the middle. So what we got here, if you want to take a look, is we have perfect smoke. I mean, literally uh, almost that, all that meat is just smoked. Obviously the juice and everything is there. Yeah, the whole thing. That's amazing. So yeah, look at that, all of it. So it took a little bit longer than expected. I had some uh, some low temperatures, had some high temperatures. It was really windy outside today, so we had to kind of adjust, but I want to take a bite. <laughs> I want to see, so this is what we're working with here. Um, that smoke ring on the bottom, on the top, all that. 
And what you want is a, you really want a nice clean bite. So here's actually the true test of how they turned out. Mm. Okay, we got it, we hit it, we nailed it. So this is what you want. You took a bite, all the meat is still on the bone except for where you bit. The bite comes clean off, but the integrity of the meat is all still there. Every bite that you take, mm, is just delicious. Comes right off the bone. You don't want to take a bite of your rib and all the meat just falls off the bone. That means it's overcooked. Um, you lose a little bit of flavor, you know, with that, but uh, with this, we nailed it. We absolutely nailed it. Mmm, yeah, perfect bite. Right off the bone, a bite mark. All the meat's still there. Yeah, that's good. What we're gonna do is um, we're going to want you guys to try this because this is absolutely amazing. Smoke it, um, just that at that temperature. You know, it usually is about four to five hours, but barbecue is never perfect. You always have to deal with something, whether it's wind, um, the, the temperatures, whatever it may be, you have to deal with it. So. Um, anyway, this is this is the ribs. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll cut them up. We'll kind of get a final shot or whatever of what we're working with. And um, I do want to just say thanks to everybody, you know, for subscribing, leaving comments. If you need any kind of food cooked, whatever it is, it doesn't have to be barbecue. Whatever you need cooked, if you want to have any idea how to do it, I can help you out. And like I said, I do have a video coming out next week. Look at that. With all fresh ingredients, um, so you guys have something to look forward to. These ribs are amazing. They're awesome. So I appreciate all the subscriptions, the comments, the likes. So go ahead and uh, please subscribe because we can use all the help that we need. But if you if you like what we're doing, you know, just please leave a comment and let us know. And we will definitely see you next week. Mm -hmm.